So I saw this post yesterday from Jan Edits. Shouts out to Jan Edits, who was the best player in the class of 2025. And when I saw it, I wanted to jump immediately up and make this video. I wanted to do it. But then I wanted to just sit back and see y'all's reaction until I came on here and give y'all my top five. So remember, these are my five top players in the class of 2025. Number five, I'm going to go Jameer Jones. The thing I like about Jameer Jones is he's crazy athletic. Can he improve his jump shot? Yes. Can he improve on other facets of the game? Yes. And I think he'll even tell you that. But me, myself, personally, I'm a sucker for athletic players. And once he combines the athleticism with skill, <laughs> it's going to get scary. Number four, I'm going to go Trey McKinney. Trey McKinney is a player that I remember from the North Coast Blue Shits playing with Bryce James. And when I saw him this past year, hit the growth spurt, got the swag with the dreads, he hitting spin step backs, not selfish, willing to do whatever it takes to help his team win. I think he got a chance to be the next big thing out of the state of Michigan. Number three, I'm going to go Cameron Boozer. It's just something about a player that has a dad that was in the league that wasn't a perennial all-star and they can give them that secret sauce, that extra ingredient of what it takes to get to the top and do the things that he didn't get a chance to accomplish. So he's learning from his father and he got the skill set to go along with it. Cameron Boozer, he got the best of both worlds. Number two, I just got hit to this player a couple of weeks ago. So I'm not going to come on here and act like I know what all about him. Koa P. Played 17U for Compton Magic. Dominated. I checked out his workout on YouTube. Checked out some of his high school scrimmage highlights. Listen, this kid is fundamental. And he got a crazy skill set. And if you grow to be like 6'11 or 7 foot with the skill set that he got now, <laughs> my God, it's going to be scary. But I'm still doing research on this kid. So I don't know at all. But from what I see, he got it. Number one, I'm going to go Darren Peterson. Now, y'all may say, yo, D-Rich, you only saying Darren Peterson because he from your way. He from my way and he got it. He got it. He played at his own pace. And that's what I love about him. Can't nobody speed him up and can't nobody slow him down. He going to do what he want to do, get his shot off and create. He don't get sped up. That's what I love about his game. And I didn't see him work out with pros. And keep up. I seen him in the gym grinding. I seen him play 17U, 16U, 15U. He got it. <laughs> so in my opinion, he's the number one player. These are my top five. I know some of y'all going to come on here. <laughs> I'm going to get some phone calls. People cuss me out saying, why my son ain't on here? Why my son ain't this? Why my son ain't that? This ain't ESPN. This ain't Rivals. This is my, my five. 